Um, so in closing, I just want to read you a couple of uh, quotations from her writing, which I'm grateful to Gwen for finding, because um, I think they can be inspirational to us. The first one of these is the quote that was up on the screen. I have frequently been questioned, especially by women, of how I could reconcile family life with a scientific career. Well, it has not been easy. That's what she said. But she also wrote, I'm among those who think that science has great beauty. A scientist in his laboratory is not only a technician, he's also a child placed before natural phenomena, which impress him like a fairy tale. Of course, we have to excuse some of the language, because it was, it's not modern language, uh, but I think that her words reveal very deep passion for science and also a very deep commitment to family life. That should be inspirational to all of us, even as I said, the uh, language is not modern. There's no doubt, uh, I was asked by the Royal Society of Chemistry to write an opinion article, How has the landscape changed for women chemists since the time of Marie Curie? There's no doubt that opportunities for women chemists, women scientists, have grown significantly since then. Indeed, last year, three women scientists received Nobel Prizes. And think about it, this is nearly a century after Marie Curie was barred uh, from the, that uh, science academy uh, back in France. Um, so, Gwen, I think if you